good afternoon everybody so dear student so today also we are in the same chapter that is valency and molecular formula so almost we have completed this chapter so today we are going to finish this chapter and uh, tomorrow we will learn some questions and answer which are there in this chapter okay so yesterday we have studied about the molecular formula okay and there we have studied that the symbol or the symbolic representation of molecule is known as the molecular formula and there we have studied about the way of writing the molecular formula so in which there were different steps which were involved while writing the molecular formula so let's revise a little bit about it so a step of writing the molecular formula is that first of all we should know which element are involved or which radical are involved in the formation of the compound and we already know that the formation of a compound or a molecule is to make their valency octet or duplet okay and they combine and form a molecule and they can exist independently in nature okay so for that so the rule for a uh, first rule or the first step what it was the first we have to write the symbol of the element which were involved as well as at the uh, at the subscript what we write we write their valency and after writing valency we used criss cross method to find out the molecular formula and after criss cross if the valency of the two radicals one metal another non metal okay uh, so generally metal are written at the left side and the non metal is written on the left side okay that about the ionic compound we have or our ionic molecule we have discussed okay so similarly in case of uh, covalent compound or the uh, compound which are formed or the molecule which are formed by combination of non metal and non metal also so there we have to uh, write generally the element which has less valence electron okay as compared to other okay both are non metal but out of that which one is uh, having lower valency used to write earlier and after that valency crossed if there is a valency lcm we can take then we have to take and divide that uh, 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 divide that common factor hcf with that of hcf we have to divide their valency and after that we have uh, uh, we have to write the molecular formula yes so from there a little bit we we will discuss today what are the importance of the molecular formula so yesterday we have studied that the molecular formula of uh, calcium chloride say ca cl2 calcium chloride is ca cl2 so how it is formed that also we have studied the ca cl2 that is calcium chloride is formed from calcium and chlorine okay it is formed from the calcium and chlorine and in calcium wow, how we have written ca here calcium and chlorine so calcium and chlorine is forming calcium chloride okay now calcium valency is 2 and that of the chlorine is 1 so we have written the valency of the element at the top and we have crossed it criss cross yes and after that we have got ca1 okay valency cross 1 cl2 calcium chloride so here no need to write of 1 so what we have written ca cl2 so ca is acting as metal it is positive and cl2 as a negative uh, radical okay so in that way we have written the molecular formula of calcium chloride so here 
after if you are only given with Ca Cl2. So, what are the things or the information you will obtain from the molecular formula? So, from here we can find how many element are involved in the formation of molecule calcium chloride okay, that we come to know that is by studying the formula itself we come to know that C A is the symbol of element calcium whereas C L is the symbol of chlorine. Okay. So, it gives us the idea of the element which are involved in the formation of molecule okay, that is calcium and chlorine are there okay, that is one. Another is that how many atoms of individual element is involved or is there present in the molecule. So, here calcium chloride C A C L 2 here one atom of calcium and two atom of chlorine is required for the formation of calcium chloride. Okay. So, first we have uh, we come to know about the which element are involved and after that in that particular atom uh, element how many atoms are there uh, or they have participated in the formation of calcium chloride or any other element. So, it is a just an example. Uh, so, calcium chloride is formed by calcium and chlorine in which uh, one calcium atom and two chlorine atom or chloride atoms is or ion is involved. Okay. So, that is the another information that we come to know by studying the molecular formula of a substance or of a uh, molecule. Okay. So, another is that it informs the valency of element of a radical valency. Okay. Now, calcium chloride how it is formed? So, I have shown here. So, calcium chloride is formed in this manner. Okay. So, here C A valency is 2, chlorine valency is 1. Okay. So, uh, calcium is showing valency 2, chlorine is showing the valency 1. In that way, in opposite way if you go, we can find the valency of the particular element involved in the formation of a molecule. So, we can know the valency of different element or radical which are involved in the formation of the molecule. Okay. Now, next is it helps to find the molecular weight of element or molecule involved. Okay. So, uh, like uh, we should know okay, we should know what is the molecular weight of an of a molecule. So, that also is given by mo our molecular formula. So, from molecular formula, we can ca calculate the molecular weight of a molecule. Okay. What is the total molecular weight? That can be found by the help of a molecule. For example, here itself we can take, uh, we know that uh, about the atomic mass we have already studied. Yes. So, in previous classes we have studied that what is atomic mass and what is atomic number. Okay. Now, atomic mass means the number of proton and neutron present in the nucleus of an atom. Okay. Whereas, the atomic number is the number of electron or proton atomic number. So, here to know the molecular mass we should know what is the atomic mass of a particular element which are there in a molecule that should be known. Then only we can calculate the total molecular weight because molecular is formed by the different element. So, different elements molecule atomic weight if you know or atomic mass if you know then total sum of that will give us the molecular weight. Okay. For example, here itself one example itself you can understand all the things like calcium. So, here what we have to find? We want to find the uh, what is the molecular weight. Okay. So, what is the molecular weight? So, molecular weight of CaCl2 can be written as the atomic weight of calcium 
plus atomic weight of chlorine. Okay. Now chlorine, how many atoms are there? Two. That is two atom are involved. So their total mass should be calculated. So there is not only one chlorine, there are two chlorine atoms. So the total weight of that chlorine element Cl2 should be calculated. So I have written here two multiplication atomic weight of chlorine. Okay. So now I hope you know that the atomic weight of calcium is how much. So for that you already uh, known calcium atomic number is 20. So 20 is an even number. So if even number is the atomic number, atomic weight is its double. Okay? So generally to write in our calculation we do it. Sometimes it may sometimes some other molecular uh, atomic uh, mass may be in, uh, in decimals also we have discussed, but as a whole number we do this. So, LCM atomic number is 20, so its double will be its atomic mass. So, 20 to the is 40, that is double of that is 40, okay, plus 2 into atomic weight of chlorine, okay, chlorine. What is the atomic number of chlorine? 17. Yes. So, 17 is odd number. So, 17 in case of odd number atomic number atomic mass is double the atomic number plus 1 that is 17 to the 34 plus 1 35. So, 35 okay, atomic weight of chlorine. Now, if you calculate this, so 100 10 okay so 110 atomic mass unit or gram you can write okay so in this way we can calculate the molecular weight of different molecule like water and okay so sometimes this molecular weight uh, we should uh, know also we should calculate so for example if you want to find the molecular weight of water H2O. So, we know that water is the molecule formed by the combination of hydrogen and oxygen in which there are two hydrogen atom and one oxygen atom. Okay. So, what is the weight or the molecular weight of water molecule? One molecule of water has how much gram or atomic mass unit of uh, water. So, here it can be known two hydrogen atom is there. So, 2 into atomic weight of hydrogen plus atomic weight of oxygen okay, that we have to calculate atomic weight of hydrogen plus atomic weight of oxygen. So, 2 into atomic weight of hydrogen is only 1 yes atomic mass of hydrogen is only 1 because it does not have neutron. So, only proton is there. So, proton means only 1. So, 1 here plus oxygen. What is the atomic number of oxygen? It is 8 yes. So, 8 is even number that is double that is 16. So, it is 16. So, 2 plus 16 that is 18 gram or we can write atomic mass unit. Okay? So, one molecule of water has the molecular weight of 18 gram. Okay? So, in this way we can find the molecular weight of other, other molecule. Uh, sometime example carbon dioxide it is also uh, most of the time uh, it is asked also to find the molecular weight or the molecular uh, weight of the different element. So, you can take the example here carbon what is the atomic uh, number carbon is 6 6 to the 12 plus 2 into oxygen atom atomic uh, mass of oxygen how much 16 yes we have done. So, 2 L plus 16 to the 32 32 plus 
12 is 44 gram or 44 amu that we can calculate okay in this way molecular formula give us the idea to find the molecular weight of a substance okay so just now what we have studied we have studied about the what are the significance of molecular formula so or what are the things or the information that we obtain from the molecular formula yes so what are they they are the name of element it uh, what are the name of element which are involved that can be known by the looking the formula here uh, hydrogen and oxygen is involved here carbon and oxygen is involved in the formation of carbon dioxide that we come to know after that we come to know how many atom of hydrogen and how many atom of oxygen are involved in the formation of one molecule of water as well as similarly in other example like in carbon dioxide how many atom of carbon how many atom of oxygen are involved that also come to know as well as we come to know uh, that what are the valencies of the uh, element which are involved in the formation of particular compound or uh, so compound or molecule you can say uh, we can understand or we can get the information from it and at the last we have studied that uh, the how to find the molecular weight of element or a molecule okay uh, we can know by studying the molecular formula okay so it is about the importance of molecular formula now sometime you have to practice a lot about the formation of compound or a molecule how it is formed so generally we have discussed earlier that the molecular formula comprises of the uh, positive radical uh, electropositive generally written at the left side and electronegative at the right side and after that it is combined yes so if you see this as a practice to make you understand only so if you take this table you can practice you can in one side write all the electro positive radical which are available or you can write this side also it does not matter but you have the rule that always electro positive while forming the molecule or a compound you have to write the electro positive uh, radical at the beginning and electronegative afterwards okay so in this manner if you write all the electro uh, positive radical here in this column and on the row if you write the electronegative radical okay so you can already have told you can write here also to make you understand it will be easier if you write here okay at this uh, column now if you cross if you know the valency of sodium this is sodium radical this is calcium radical this is aluminum radical okay and this is ferrous or ferric so i this is iron fe means iron and you know that iron shows two valences it may be uh, 2 plus 2 or plus 3 ferrous or ferric and about the naming also i have already told you if the uh, variable valency is shown out of which uh, the valency lower valency it is written uh, with uh, uh, prefix or uh, suffix that is OUS, okay, lesser valency and higher valency is written with IC. That also I have told. And similarly, while naming ID is used, okay, like chloride, bromide, calcium chloride, calcium bromide, like that way. That also we will discuss, okay, little bit. Now, here to make you understand or make you practice day and today day after day so it will be easier for you to do in this manner okay now NaCl suppose electro positive radical that is sodium is reacting with chlorine and I have told Na plus Cl2 element will undergo chemical reaction not only the Cl yes that is you already know that if Na plus radical is crossed with the Cl minus then what it is formed N A C L this is metal this is non metal N A C L so here valency 1 here valency 1 so they will cancel each other out ok similarly so N A with B R it will give N A 
Br. Why? Because both of them valence is 1 and 1. So, 1 positive, 1 negative. They cancel each other out. So, it is neutral and a Br that is sodium bromide I D E. Okay? That is metal is written as it is and I D E is added for the non metal or electronegative radical. Okay? So, similarly, N A O H. Okay? N A O H. N A O H. So, here sodium hydroxide. It is sodium same metal hydroxide negative radical. Okay? Compound radical. Yes, O E H. So, generally in single simple radical I D is added, but in case of hydroxide also I D E O S minus also in that case also I D is added that is sodium hydroxide. Okay? And similarly here uh, N A N O 3. So, both of them having valency 1 1. So, here they will cancel each other out 1 1. So, what we can write? N A N O 3 sodium nitrate. Okay? So, in this manner we can write for the sodium sulphate. Now, if you look sodium it is having N A plus this is positive radical having valency plus 1 indicate has valency 1 it is showing valency 1 instead and other SO4 2 minus that is negative. So, while writing the molecular formula what we do we neglect this negative sign or positive sign the radical ions the positive or negative radical their sign is neglected while writing the molecular formula. Okay. So, what we will write? We will write N A only and S O 4 only and their valency how we will write? N A we will write here and sulphate we will write here too and here we will cross it then this cross method we get N A 1 here N A 2 and S O 4 whole bracket 1 it should be. So, it is act as a single unit and we have to write in bracket, but since it is here 1 there does not make any sense or problem uh, if, uh, if we not write that bracket also it will be same and hence we will not write any bracket there and we write here Na2SO4. Okay? So, in this manner so what we can write here N A 2 S O 4. So, it is the way of practicing the molecular formula formation. Okay? So, for that we should know the valency and the radical symbol. Okay? Then, we by doing criss cross method we can easily find out the molecular formula of various element. So, here valency 2 calcium C A C L okay? C A C L that is calcium and chlorine is taking part uh, valency here 2 written means calcium valency is 2. So, here we will write 2 calcium chlorine is 1 this cross method if we do then C A C L 2. So, here we will write C A C L 2. Okay? So, in this manner if we do the cross by multiplying this cross method crossing the valences and writing the molecular formula we can write and we can practice a lot of the radicals uh, combined to form a molecule. So, in your text there are many radicals is given and their valency is given that it may be electropositive it may be electronegative so, you have to uh, understand how their valency is calculated which I have discussed how we can find the valency of different radicals as a whole together. Okay? So, we can calculate like that way if you understand that way. Otherwise, sometime if you do not know how to uh, 
write there how to get it the valency of the radical or compound radical. Uh, simple radical we can find the by the valency easily like aluminum valency is 3. Yes, how it is 3 because electronic configuration of aluminum is uh, th atomic number is 13, 2, uh, 8, 3. So, it can lose 3 electron to become stable. So, its valency is 3 that we have already discussed. So, similarly, uh, for compound radical also like uh, hydroxide uh, OH, okay. similarly OH for in the case of OH, how we call OH oxygen and hydrogen. Okay. So, oxygen valence uh, electron configuration is 2, 6 and hydrogen is 1. So, in this case uh, oxygen is requiring 2 electron and uh, hydrogen is it can donate 1. So, if you take here minus 2 oxygen minus 2 and that of hydrogen plus 1. So, in this case uh, a total net uh, is sign is minus. So, it is OH minus. Okay? It is given as OH minus. So, valency is 1. Okay? So, in this case if you remember the valency of different radical and uh, how we can uh, we write the molecular formula, how the name is given in, the, uh, in that way it will be easier for you to calculate all the uh, calculate sorry to find out the molecular formula of different uh, element uh, different element combined together and after that we can find uh, atomic weight or molecular weight of the different substances so here uh, i am focusing so you should remember in this chapter this is the basic chapter or the best chapter for all the topics related to the chemistry so there we should know all the elements name their symbols their uh, uh, atomic number atomic mass okay valency in if we know that then most of the chemistry will be solved easily. We can understand easily. We find very difficult to understand later on if you go in higher classes, if you take science stream, then it will be find difficult to understand if we do not know basic thing that is of atomic number, atomic mass of the different element. So, if you go in higher classes for that basic is necessary. So, try to understand all these things. Okay? So, naming of compound is also a topic that we will discuss uh, discussed earlier also. So, uh, let us see from the beginning what we have learned today in a, a slide at the end. Okay? Please uh, play the slide. So, at the beginning that is the thing th which I have shown in the table. So, like that table you can make either by writing up electropositive in the column side and row in other side. There I have written uh, electronegative radical in the column and the positive radical at the uh, row, but you can write uh, opposite also does not matter, so, but you have to remember that positive radical is written at the first and uh, in the right uh, in the left hand side and that uh, on the uh, electronegative on the right hand side that is the rule that you have to understand and you make a chart like this and you uh, practice. Okay? So, then uh, so that it will be easier for to uh, learn or practice if you practice automatically it will be generated in your mind. What is the formula of calcium chloride if it is up you will say CaCl2. Okay, CaCl2 like that. If you uh, if you are asked what is the uh, molecular formula of uh, sodium bicarbonate, then you will write NaSCO3. Uh, okay, so like that. If you go on practicing in this manner, it will be easier for you to understand. Okay, now next slide. So, what are the significance of molecular formula that uh, we have discussed? So, it represents the name of element present in the molecule it stand for the number of atom of each element present in the molecule it informs the valency of element or radical and it helps to find out the molecular weight of element or radical so for example h2o is given as 2 into atomic weight of hydrogen plus atomic weight of oxygen 2 into 1 uh, plus uh, 16 okay so 2 plus 16 is 18 so in this manner we can calculate the molecular weight of different molecule 
Okay, and next slide. So, a little bit uh, at faster rate, please look at there. So, there I have uh, representing how to name a chemical compound. So, first uh, naming of ionic compound. So, in ionic compound metal plus non metal are involved and we know that metal are those which are having the valence electron 1, 2, 3 whereas uh, non metal means the element which are having the valence electron 4, 5, 6. So, and we know that in ionic compound there is formation of ion. So, while naming the ionic compounds or the ions which are or the molecules which are formed by the uh, metal and non metal, what is there? The metal is written in first and the non metal is written okay, with the suffix IDE is added in to non metal. For example, let us take an example of compound made up of calcium and chlorine and we read it as a how we read. C, uh, calcium plus chlorine is there. So, that compound we read it as uh, calcium chloride. So, at there calcium the metal which is written as same whereas, chloride, chlorine is written C H L O R is uh, written same at the end I D is added. Okay? So, uh, similarly magnesium bromine magnesium if the compound is found with the help of magnesium and bromine we read that uh, it as a magnesium bromide. So, here magnesium is metal and bromine is non metal. So, uh, metal is written as it is that is magnesium and bromine is a non metal. So, at the root is taken as brom and I N E instead that I D is added. So, how what is the molecular formula we have calculated that is shown on the uh, your right hand side. Okay? So, in next slide you will see uh, okay, why are metals written first. Okay. So, why in that formation of the molecule, why metal are written first? So, this is because we always write the element which have lower number of valency. This is some rule, there is a rule that always the element which have lower number of valence electron is written earlier than the element which are having higher valences. Okay. So, in this valence electron sorry, valence electron. So, we know that metal have 1, 2, 3 whereas, non metal have uh, what how much so, uh, that is 4, 5, 6 and 7. So, metal always have less number of valence electron as compared to non metal. So, that is why they are written first. Okay? So, for example, what is the chemical name of Fe Cl 2 uh, iron chloride or what? Okay. So, here I am showing this why it is because Fe is showing variable valence it can show for uh, 2 valency also it can show 3 valency also. The valency with lower OUS and the valency with higher valency IC is added is not a suffix. So, here I am showing here in this compound FeCl2 is formed if it is having 2 plus 2 valency how it is formed it forms FeCl2 if has it has the valency 3 if iron was showing valency 3 it would, it would have formed FeCl3. So, here FeCl2 is formed when Fe is showing valency 2. So, hence what we can say iron FeCl2 is the uh, uh, for name of uh, FeCl2 names will be ferrous chloride or iron 2 chloride why because valency shown by the iron is 2. Okay? So, this way we name different compound. Okay? So, there is another rule also there about the if non non matter will be there what will be it will be. So, that uh, questions answer we will discuss it tomorrow and uh, tomorrow uh, what are the different questions uh, that are in our exercise we will discuss that. Okay? There is answer. Uh, that their hint according to me it should be like that we will discuss it tomorrow for today this much we have learned. So, go through it again. So, if you go again and again you read you will understand. So, for today this much thank you.